Okay, anyway, personal and civic competencies. You just go through the list. And imagine that we are being tasked, okay, to help, okay, students attain this by the time they graduate from uh, college. So we will ask, how do we, for example, contribute as a math teacher, okay, uh, to, to make the students able to reflect on moral norms, imperatives, as they uh, affect individuals and society. Uh, how can we, as math teachers, okay, contribute to making the students able to appreciate and contribute to artistic beauty? Okay, and practical responsibilities. Uh, working effectively in a group, application of computing and information technology to assist and facilitate research, and so on. <clears throat> okay? So these are the program okay, uh, outcomes. So, as a review, okay, uh, I, I pointed this out already. Vision, mission, and then you have the uh, ideal graduate attributes, the program outcomes from chair, and now we have the uh, course outcomes, referring to the subject mathematics and uh, the modern world. Here's a sample course outcome taken from the syllabus of uh, the LSU Manila. The students will explore the inherent beauty of mathematics. Critically appreciate the role and impact of mathematics in various aspects of daily life. Our course outcomes for uh, mathematics in the modern world look like this also. Kopyahan na lang tayo. Kopyahan na lang. And then when we get to see you know, you know, more versions, okay, we can continually uh, improve. Okay? That's, why, uh, that's why we will be sharing okay, a lot of uh, resources, experiences, and uh, they'll be offering more okay, uh, uh, later on. You, you'll hear them uh, talk about uh, their experiences, okay, uh, things that uh, they can contribute. Because uh, we, we're in this together. Okay? We're in this together. Uh, somehow, Shelly say, this is the only mathematics that will be in the general education curriculum. And it will not be the mathematics that you have been teaching you know, probably for the last 15 or 20 years. And then, you know, you, you, you'll be retiring about 10 to, I mean, 5 to 10 years, and then you are forced to, you know, learn about coding theory. Puro algebra, algebra, algebra. Now, let's talk about learning outcomes, okay? This is course versus uh, learning outcomes. The, the course outcomes refer, of, of course, uh, uh, to the whole course, but the learning outcomes okay, may result from a specific lesson. So when you say learning outcomes, you, you are uh, referring to uh, uh, the lesson level. No? Building blocks toward course outcomes. Here's a sample, again from a uh, syllabus. I think this is from uh, CSP syllabus. This is a, uh, the, the topics are on uh, efficiency. So you have linear programming, transportation, and assignment problem, shortest paths, and minimal spanning days. And then you see this, okay? This learning outcomes. So not for the whole course, but for this uh, particular set of topics. Th that's why it's talking about, you know, uh, the topics themselves, linear programming, okay, transportation, assignment problem. So, you'll have this as well in your syllabi. Now, uh, Chad, also in that document, the document with, which contains the OBE framework, uh, uh, the, the one that you saw, it's actually in a single document. It's about uh, outcomes-based education and typology. Okay? Uh, the draft, uh, the first uh, draft of that document, I came across with in 2012. 2012, just imagine, 2012, and it's there already. And, you know, through to form, okay, uh, a lot of us, okay, uh, 
probably did not fully grasp the implication. Matagal pa yan, matagal pa yan. And then, you know, in, in fact, some of you are thinking, uh, 2018 pa yan, nandiyan ka na, 2018. But, uh, you know, you, you, you will, you will uh, be affected. We, we are all being affected. Okay. <coughs> You might have been tasked to participate in uh, syllabi writing before. Okay, um, again, part of the committee. Okay, and probably you, you, you have personal experience already. Now, but when you are tasked to do the syllabus for an OBE uh, component uh, uh, subject like mathematics in the modern world, okay, you should begin by writing learning outcomes, not course objectives. All syllabus natin would probably, you know, the, the, the ones that you still have course objectives. Okay, but here we were talking about outcomes. Now remember, <coughs> these outcomes are connected, okay, to some other elements like the program outcomes of the general education curriculum, your ideal graduate attributes, your vision, mission, etc. Okay, so it's not really the objectives for the course, which is a standalone thing. Now, competencies, okay? What the students should be able to, to know, that's the knowledge, do and become, okay, by the end of the course. Uh, another thing is you have to change the verbs. You have to change the verbs. You use verbs that are active. And you should be describing behavior that is observable and measurable. Okay, I will then discuss that here, okay? Uh, there, there are samples, there are examples. After all, we were able to create ours, and uh, we're going to share them with you, and then you create yours. Now, to make sure, hindi kayo nang dadaya, to make sure that there's really alignment, okay, uh, you know, in all of these outcomes, you have to have a curriculum map. A curriculum map indicates the extent to which the courses correspond to the program outcomes. Okay? Galing din sa chat yan. Uh, in fact, you, you will need to do this mapping. Okay? And you, you will need to use these legends. L. Okay? Is it learned in the course? P. Is it practice in the course? Or O. Not being learned or practice, but the opportunity to learn and practice. Okay? X is. Here's an example. Okay, for the course topics that we have identified, uh, this is uh, CSPs. Um, uh, those are our topics. Okay, and then take a look. The general uh, program outcome. One, intellectual competency, competencies. I hope you still remember uh, a few slides back. And then two, and then three. Uh, th this is not very detailed. Okay, but if you do a detailed version, okay, you, you will have to uh, go to the level of the topics, the actual topics. And probably uh, uh, rationalize no? why are you saying that uh, it's learning the course, it is, uh, it is practicing the course. Okay, now let's go to the content. Uh, just to uh, remind you, we're talking about the, the uh, preparation of the syllabus. Okay, there's this slide a while ago uh, showing that you know you start with the uh, course outcomes and then the learning outcomes. Here's the content now. In a little while, we'll have methodology, assessment, and then uh, uh, resources. Okay, content. Remember, we're talking about the content of uh, the general education subject for mathematics in the modern world. So we have to take a look at what Chet is saying about MMW. Okay, there's this Chet Memorandum Order, number 20, series of 2013. That is the time when this was uh, approved. But again, 2012 pa nga, andyan na yung draft niya. Okay? So there's this document. Uh, I'm sure uh, you have come across this already. Okay. This is Chet. Para nag-tweet siya. Nag-tweet yung Chet. Describing MMW. Okay. MMW is about the nature of mathematics. Appreciation of its practical, intellectual, and aesthetic dimensions. And application of mathematical tools in daily life. Okay, it describes how the course should begin. An introduction to the nature of math as an exploration of patterns, okay, and as an application of inductive and deductive reasoning. Oh, 
all from that document. Okay? The students are encouraged to go beyond okay, the typical understanding of math as merely a bunch of formulas. Because as a source of aesthetics. In other words, we, we, we're not being you know, asked to, uh, to come up okay, with a list of topics on our own. We, we are being guided by, by this document. Now, uh, just scan this. I think I'm running out of time. Okay, take a look here. Various aspects of present day living, such as managing personal finances, making social choices, that brought about social choice theory, a topic which you know a lot of us okay, do not have uh, uh, any idea uh, on. Okay, appreciating geometric designs, understanding codes, this is coding theory, used in data transmission, and security. So that, that uh, touches on cryptography and dividing limited resources, so that's uh, optimization. Now, Isagani Cruz, who, who was the, the chairperson of the technical panel on uh, uh, general education, wrote uh, the Philippine Star, a series of volumes describing each subject. And on August 22, 2013, you can see the date here, August 22, 2013, I don't know, 2015, right? He talked about mathematics, okay? And he's saying the course, the math ma mathematics, the, the water world course should not repeat the computations, derivations, equations that characterize the previous mathematics that, that, that we had, okay? The college course on mathematics, the mathematics in the modern world should be unlike the previous GE courses on algebra and statistics, okay? Now, this quote uh, from him uh, uh, justifies why a teacher of mathematics is uh, one who should have majored in mathematics. But that's not enough. That's not enough. Sabi dito, okay, should not be adept only at deriving formulas. Okay? The teacher has to be aware of the world in which the student is. So you have to put the, the, the mathematics in context. Okay? So you, you can uh, search for this in an archive. The Philippine Star, Sagani Cruz, Mathematics in the Modern World. Meron pa siya mga examples. No? He, he, he gave uh, examples. So for example, this one. Okay, calculating the odds of winning the lotto. Implication, probability. You need to discuss probability. Probability, truly a probability. Okay, this one. Talking about Bertrand Russell, Blaise Pascal. So, so you have to touch uh, on uh, the philosophy. Okay, a bit on the philosophy. And this one. About ones and zeros. About, uh, you know, uh, cheating at elections. About Alan Turing, okay, the father of computer science. About fractals. So in, in, in that article, you, you somehow get a more detailed Okay, idea of what the subject uh, should uh, uh, really be. And that, I mean, these things uh, uh, brought this list of topics. Okay, this is chapter one. This is the LSU Manila. Chapter two is logic and reasoning. Decision analysis, personal finance, communication, and efficiency. Now, they did something which probably uh, you have done already or will probably do in your schools. And that is, okay, they, they uh, convened this general education committee, okay? And the deans of the different colleges sat there. You, you have the dean of the College of Business Administration, uh, Business and Economics, the dean of the College of Engineering, the dean of the College of Computer Science, talking about the GE courses, because the GE courses would be uh, taken by all the students. Now, this is uh, uh, the Mathematics in the Modern World uh, implementation of the LSCSB. We went through the same process. Okay, there's this curriculum office, and we submitted a proposal, deliberated it uh, on, etc. You, you will have your chance if uh, you have not done so. Now, for the methodology, okay, here's a sample. Okay, same topic. Give a lecture. So lecture is still here. And facilitate discussion using okay, some devices. Another would be to demonstrate the use of computer software. Okay, okay. 
Okay, then there are things there which cannot be uh, uh, practically done using uh, manual calculation. So you, you need to use uh, software. So, while it would be difficult to totally do away with lectures for practical reasons, new approaches have to be implemented. So we combine lecture with uh, uh, other things, more appropriate things. Okay? And a shift from uh, <coughs> student center to, uh, sorry, uh, uh, teacher center to student centered office. The teacher becomes a facilitator. A facilitator. So keep these things in mind uh, when, when you do. Uh, construct your methodologies. Of course, it will take time. It will take time. And uh, as you saw in the class record a while ago, uh, a lot of uh, activities going on. Now, for the assessment, okay, assessment plays a very important role in OBE. Sabi nga nila, assessment drives OBE from that same chat uh, document. Here's a sample assessment in the, the syllabus. Okay? Student self-assessment and reflection. You don't find these things okay, uh, 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 that much in current implementation of mathematics or assessment. But here, you, you have to have more reflection. Sit work and assignments, field exercises, digital story, and another uh, new thing. Yeah, Th these are things that you pay, uh, you know, you'll see in YouTube, uh, and the students can actually uh, create this now. Okay, so when you say assessment, you're referring to one or more processes used to evaluate achievement of learning outcomes. The, the assessment chosen must be appropriate to the learning outcome. Should be aligned with the learning outcomes. Okay, we can have a camera now. Inform the teachers of what, how, how much, and how well the students are learning. <laughs> okay, there will be examination questions, of course. But there will be alternative modes of assessment, reflection papers, projects, portfolios, etc. Rubrics become indispensable because usually these alternative modes of assessment are qualitative. So you cannot have this answer team. You, you, you have to use uh, rubrics. These are examples. Sige, kuna niya. Uh, Iba-ibang examples of uh, assessment. Projects, journals, exams, peer review, stories, etc. Posters, to the portfolio, digital stories. Choose what is appropriate. Now, for the resources, okay, uh, let, let me just breeze through this. Kasi wala na akong time. These are resources we are sharing with everyone. Okay, if you are interested, you should contact uh, uh, these people here. Okay. We have a book. What you have in your kit is a beta version. Okay. Uh, it's an evaluation copy. We're improving on that. Okay. Uh, uh, we're working with the publisher. Module guides. Okay. Slides. Yes, we are uh, you know, uh, willing to share with you uh, PowerPoint uh, uh, slides. Sample exams. Additional rubrics, para sa poster, may mga students gumawa ng musical composition, how do you rate that? So you have a uh, rubric for that. Guidelines for blogging, okay? And experiences, including faculty orientation and training. They will tell you about this uh, uh, later, okay? Here's the, the, the book. Uh, ganito maging itsura niya later. It has six chapters, 27 topics. 157 examples and illustrations, 68 exercise items, answers to odd numbered exercises, rubrics, and a solutions manual for every one of those 688 exercise items. Because we've been working on this, you know, for the past what uh, three years, two to three years, two to three years. You know, uh, my wife and I are in a uh, you know uh, very ideal situation. Okay, I'm a, a, a mathematics education uh, that way, science education. Uh, she did, uh, and she's still doing pure mathematics and coding theory. You know, punta pa sa Japan para kung ano second page. And uh, you know, there are times that we are having this discussion. Uh, uh, your pure mathematics, parang hindi pa karelate yung master channel. 
and here am I, a mathematics teacher, okay, trying to figure out. And then we have this golden opportunity. This usually, uh, you know, uh, this this topic usually offered in the graduate school. Meron ng chance ano makarating sa mga estudyante. Coding theory, graph theory, game theory. And we now have the opportunity, you know, to share with these students to make them appreciate the mathematics that we have, okay, been living with, you know, for the past uh, uh, several years. I I will uh, end my uh, uh, presentation now. Uh, if, if you have questions, I think you have uh, some time for the questions. <coughs> University as well. Yes. Sir, uh, since there are the curriculum for uh, the mathematics in the modern world, this is really different from what we have today. So, is there any chance that one of the, the schools like BNSU Manila or CSU would offer a certification course in mathematics that would help us refresh our? Kasi, Nandami pong topics eh. So, and not all of us, even if we have master's or uh, master's degree in math, uh, not all subjects were, of course, we do not enroll in all of those subjects. No? Kasi namimine. So, can you, is there any chance that during the transition period from 2016 to 2018 that the university would offer, say, a certification in teaching mathematics that includes these subjects? I just hope. Uh, the LSUD will, uh, the LSU Manila will, and or CSB will find their discourse for those who would like to refresh. Uh, I cannot answer for uh, uh, the LSU Manila, but I'm sure they're taking note of uh, uh, your question. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the uh, formal certificate uh, uh, program, as uh, so you will uh, you know, uh, learn later, okay, the uh, Delasal University of Manila is actually winning. And, and, and they will offer that to you later on. But, but I'll give you an idea. They're willing to go to the provinces. Okay. So if your school is capable of hosting several other schools, they're willing to go there, share with you everything, including the organizing part. Okay. Uh, so uh, how did they go about this, etc.? Which materials are available? Well, we, we have thought of this, uh, you know, even before the, this uh, 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 event. Because, as, as I said a while ago, we're in this together. In, in, in fact, the, the, the first time I got to realize that, you know, uh, this is really something new, uh, as you said, okay? I, I know I have to make a, a, a contribution. I know I have to make a contribution because I know that the fears, okay, the apprehensions are a real, uh, What if, you know, uh, you, you have been teaching just a couple of subjects, algebra, trigonometry, and that's for about, you know, the last 10 or 15 years. And, and then you, you need to teach this uh, uh, new thing, yeah, okay? So what we did, you know, for example, this book, this, is, this has been my life for the past, uh, as I said, two to three years. I've been working on this. This is uh, this is uh, challenging because you cannot find something like this in a single book. You can find find a book in graph theory. You can find a book in group theory, in coding theory, etc., etc. But to make it a cohesive uh, open, that's what we have decided to to, uh, to, uh, to be our contribution. To be our contribution. Uh, pati nga yung uh, point of view, di ba? Okay, you, you you have it. How do you teach it? 
of course, you need the, you know, presentation materials, and if there are questions there which you feel you might not be able to answer, as I said, the solutions manual is there for you, the teacher, for you, the teacher, because uh, somehow you might encounter a student, you know, uh, smart enough and ask you questions, and then uh, you don't know what the answer is. Uh, we're not talking about you know, one teacher or two teachers. We're talking about the teaching profession, and, and we don't want students, you know, uh, uh, have this idea, no? That uh, even their teachers are having difficulty. Now, I, I want you to go back, okay, and, and take, uh, I mean, a recall. No? How the students are talking about this subject before this uh, weekend ends. Okay. They, they will show you more of these reflections. Okay? They will show you more of these reflections. And it, it's really heartwarming. Okay? In fact, we were talking, uh, the name is rewarded. That, that's the reward, seeing the students. Okay? Talking about gold cryptography. Um, how can imagine? Uh, even some teachers say, oh, it's mind-boggling. It's something that they cannot uh, you know, uh, comprehend at, at this point. And then you see these students. If you have a time later on, you, you have these exhibits. Exhibits of students' works, actual works. And, and then you'll see their codes and so on. Okay, uh, Dr. Vaz. Uh, I'm sharing we are in the process of thinking ways on how to augment our teaching loads uh, in the next year, since there will be new loads next year. And one of the things that we're talking about is giving short courses for statistical methods. Probably you can add that to that list. I'm going to bring that up in the part. End of passage. Okay, any other questions? Keep them on. Sir, when you focus the slide regarding what uh, Mr. Isagani, Sir Isaganikus said that uh, math for the modern world will be should be only taught by the mathematics teacher, my apprehension now is that uh, once because by 2016 up to 2018, that's going to be our problem because we won't have any students. But by 2018, it's going to be the professional subjects who is going to be suffering. So in our school, there is a move that the mathematics will be taught by 2018 because by that time they won't have any subjects anymore. Uh, they might be, um, they are thinking to get the mathematics, mathematics from us. That is the engineering group. So what can you say about that? What suggestions can you make about that? Because for me, I said, how about if we're going to make a move that all of us mathematics teacher should do something about it. Kasi may mga agawa ng subjects eh. <laughs> okay. The, the uh, passage no, that uh, uh, I quoted is uh, from an article. It's a personal, uh, what do you call this? It's a personal opinion and of uh, uh, Dr. Cruz and uh, the, the official position of uh, uh, chair. Uh, so if the school decides, if your school decides, that uh, they will allow, uh, you know, uh, professional uh, teachers to handle this uh, subject. Then uh, it, it's the school's fault. It's the school's fault. So, pwede naman yung gawin. Really, uh, we are we are in a uh, uh, time no? uh, where we are facing problems we have not faced before. The thing is, you know, uh, if if we work together, if we work together, we will be able to uh, come up with solutions, and we'll make this, uh, you know, uh, something more bearable, I okay? think, more bearable. And th that should be the mindset in the first place, no? Uh, unless I am a patient problem, there's always the senior high school waiting for you. <laughs> yes, they, they need teachers. They need teachers. They need algebra teachers. They, they need uh, calculus teachers. Yes, there's calculus uh, in grade 11. Grade 11. Now, now, by the way, if you're going to ask, now, uh, uh, is there a syllabus okay, coming from Chad? There's a group okay, reporting to Chad, uh, working on this, but uh, they're not done yet. 
they're not done yet. And they have uh, questions still, no? For example, uh, may mga questions sila, uh, may mga questions na natatanong sa kanila, why do you have these statistics like, you know, measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion, and, and these are being oh, uh, uh, tackled already as, uh, you know, as early as grade seven. Uh, so they're not yet done. So the, their target is, uh, you know, uh, before the start of 2016. 2016. But you should take a look at that also. And as I said, all of these things you just take into consideration as you uh, come up with and as you formulate your own your own implementation of mathematics in the modern world. You're probably part of some committee, and uh, you're probably working with other GE as well, GE uh, subjects, effective communication, or teachers like that. Mathematics Department awards the Certificate of Appreciation to Dr. Erin Rizal Bicinokon for being a resource speaker during the 18th ELSU Mathematics Lecture Series on the topic Teaching Mathematics in the Modern World in the Outcomes-Based Education Context held at the Uchenko Seminar Hall, De La Salle University today, December 11, 2015. Signed, Dr. Nokon, Dr. Miss Tan, and Dr. Isagani.